I'm Kevin Devine and I meet stars and celebrities right here on the streets of London and have great chats with them, like this. Now normally we do all of our interviews out in the street but it's chucking it down outside but I didn't want to miss the chance to meet you today Vicky. Um, Vicky Michelle, thank you so much for inviting us into a wee break in your rehearsals. Um, <laughs> tell us a wee bit about the new play that you're going to be doing. Well I'm working with Ray Cooney and we're doing a play called Wife Begins at 40, uh, which we did last year um, at Sonning, and we went to Blackpool with it. And this year we're going to Guildford, and we've got Ray Cooney directing us, which is fantastic. It's the first time he's directed. He had other people directing, but now he's directing. It's amazing. Um, this, this is obviously something we know you as an actress yeah. of, um, you know, with, with a really good career now on stage and in TV. Yeah, yeah. But to have someone of that calibre, the man that wrote it, the man that knows everything about the characters in there, how inspiring is that for you? It's fantastic. I mean, he's a legend, an absolute legend. In fact, I work with him. How did I work with him? Well, I worked with him first, although he wasn't directing us on uh, Why it Begins at 40. And then through that, he said, would I be in this musical that he did called Stop Dreaming, to Chaz and Dave's music. And we were doing the musical, which was fantastic, re really brilliant. And um, I said, should I get my husband to film it? So my husband filmed it, and Ray saw it, and he went, that's the, some of the best filming I've ever seen. I said, well, he's a professional. And, um, and then they started talking, and he said, why have you never done a film of your plays? He said, well, I did a couple ages ago. He said, what about now? Ray said, yeah, let's do Run For Your Wife now. And so that's come, apart, uh, come about. And um, so we've made a film of Run For Your Wife and I was executive producer on it. And my husband uh, produced it and Ray directed it. And it's coming out later in the year. Because that, that's one of the, the biggest titles he's ever written as it well, is. Run yeah, For yeah. Your Wife. And we know you as a, a great comedic mm. actress as well. Uh, what drew you to comedy? when you were first starting out I, as an actress? I think... Just um, a natural gift, or...? <laughs> I think I've, people have always said, oh, you've got great timing, but I think it's just a natural thing. And I used to go, when I was younger, I'd go, oh, what does that mean? It's just inherent, you know, you know, when to deliver a line or not deliver a line. And um, I started off doing very serious things, you know, like Softly Softly, and you know, I played a drug addict and a murderess and lots of really quite, you know, um, sort of dramatic roles yeah. and then I did a couple of comedy roles and I was up for um, a play for the BBC and also Dick Emery wanted me for his show oh. and so my agent said do the Dick Emery so yeah. I did the Dick Emery and I did quite a few sketches on his show and from that um, Ken Dodd wanted me for a series so I did a series with Ken Dodd and Ronnie Barker spotted me on the Ken Dodd and said, I want her in for the two Ronnies. So then I did quite a few bits with the two Ronnies and Les Dawson. And then, so then I did a couple of episodes with Les Dawson and then I did a whole series with him. And so I sort of worked with all the comedy greats, did Kenny Everett and... Um, That's a phenomenal list of names. Yeah. You mentioned that Dick Emery was one of my favourites growing up as well. You are awful, and, uh, but oh. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now you've got to hit me with a handbag. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> do that. so true. And, and, and Ronnie mm. Barker, oh, obviously yeah. the late, great Ronnie Barker yeah, as well. Yeah, he was such Les a Dawson. lovely man. Um, and, and that sort of led you into things like um, Allo Allo came along. Allo Allo. I'd already worked with all the big comedians. Yeah. So I was sort of quite well known within the business, but probably not so much to the general public. Mm. And then Allo Allo came along, and I read for um, two parts. I read for Yvette Carte Blanche, the waitress. Uh -huh and Michelle of the Resistance. And we didn't hear for about six months. And then the BBC decided to do the show. And then I heard I'd got the part of Yvette. And I suppose the rest is history. It was an amazing show. And it, working on that, as I say, when you're starting out, you talked about the delay of six months there. Mm -hmm. And then when the first series went out, when did it really hit you that, oh, this is really happening. It's a great series. People love it. Well, I read, when I read the script for the pilot, mm -hmm. it was brilliant. And you, I was laughing, I was laughing out loud. And I'd been reading lots of scripts and going for casting, so this is really good. And then we did the series, and we all thought it was really, really funny, but it's the first series going out, so we got quite good viewing figures. But I think what happened then, everyone told everyone about it. So when it was repeated, it got amazing viewing figures. And then it just snowballed from there. And then we did the stage show, and um, I went to Australia, New Zealand with it. It was just amazing, 10 years. 
it's a phenomenal thing that when, when you think that's coming along and taking over your life for such a, a decade is a long time. It was actually, yes, when you think about it, you don't think of it at the time because because we were only doing sort of eight weeks a year, mm. you know, two weeks, three weeks filming, eight weeks in uh, the studio. Mm. And that was it, so we weren't working for the rest of the year. Mm. So it wasn't sort of like 10 years in all, but then we started doing the stage show, so then we did the stage show and the television series, and that's when it really, you know, we were sort of doing hello, hello all the time. And he's still in touch with people. I, I had the privilege of working with Carmen, Carmen Silvera for a while. Oh, she's and, fabulous. And, and unfortunately, she's no longer with us, but she was great. And there seemed to be quite a good camaraderie between the cast. Yeah, there was. I mean, yeah, we were a family. I mean, we did work together for 10 years, and we travelled all over the country because we toured all, all over um, England as well. And we were very close, and she was just a fantastic human being. In fact, I spoke to Sue Hodge today. Oh, really? Because someone's writing a book on Hello, Hello, and, and they wanted to talk to Sue, so I rang her. She's in France. Oh. And, um, yeah, we all keep in touch. I saw Arthur Bostrom the other day, and spoke to Richard Gibson and Kim Hartman, and, you know, uh, Sam Kelly I saw because it was um, David Croft's memorial. Mm. And... Um, uh, which was just, I mean, a great tribute for him. But we saw everyone that we'd ever known throughout the years. Everyone was there for that. And, uh, we did a lot of catching up, but we do keep in touch with each other. I think family's a great word to sum it up there. It um, was a family. Yes, it was. It was. Uh, and have you found it's opened some doors for you in the acting world? Of course, of course. You know, I mean, the thing is, you know, you were typecast and things. And yes, that has been a bit of a hurdle to get over. But as you get older, you get offered better parts but also it allowed people to ask for me for theatre you know so thinking, you know because they know me from Aloha so I've, I've always done my pantos I've always done I've done lots of um, uh, I've done musicals Miss Hannigan in Annie Salad Days Lady Rayburn in Asphyxia Miss Mona in Best Little Whorehouse in Texas lots of musicals and um, and also lots and lots of theatre which has been fantastic but in a way you're asked for because I was in Hello Hello so it, it was and, and, and what was the alternative not to be in such a fantastic show no I'm glad I stayed with Hello Hello it was a, it was a fantastic show you know David Croft Jeremy Lloyd brilliant writers as is Ray Cooney <laughs> he, he is. you know he these is. are legends and um, very honoured to have worked with them think about how much entertainment these people have put out over the years and you've been part of that yeah. you know Ray's a very prolific writer and you yes, talked about some of the greats that you work with as well there um, Ronnie Barker um, do you see yourself now with the stage in front of you do you want to sort of veer a wee bit more towards some of the serious things as well if you get a chance I'd like to do some more serious stuff I did a sort of a serious role when um, I played Ray Winston's wife in a film called uh, All in the Game about football mm -hmm. and, and that was fantastic because I thought you know it was really nice playing a straight role I was playing his wife and, and that was great to do and it was filming outside you know and, and and I really enjoyed that I'd like to do some more serious acting but you know I love making people laugh and I think it's a, it's great laughter there's nothing better than laughter so I'd love carry on doing that but also some serious stuff maybe some telly or film would be great and is there a preference you have? Do you, I mean, when you're out treading the boards at night, you get that instant, you know, yeah. the applause and the affection and the laughs and yeah. things. But um, how difficult it, is it when you're on a location to try and get yourself into that character if it's, you know, comedy without an audience giving you instant feedback? Yeah, that, that is that, that is harder. And you have to time. It's like when we did the exterior filming for Hello, Hello, um, we had to anticipate where there would be a laugh. Yeah. Because then it's piped into the studio yeah and if the audience laugh across they, they miss the next bit of dialogue and and we we sort of got it quite good but you can never get it completely right because the audience will laugh at different things or, 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 or laugh at something you didn't anticipate them laughing sure. Sure. Um, so it is more difficult to time that when you're filming a location for laughs or but um, but I but I love filming you know filming I love the camera you know, so, and I love that aspect of filming. And also when we did Hello, Hello, we had a live audience. So we had the cameras and the audience, so we had the best of both worlds. Yeah. And uh, apart from this play that you're in just now, mm -hmm. at the Avon Arno, have you got other things lined up for well, later on in the year? Well, we're finishing off the film. Um, we're putting the music to it at the moment. So it's so, in post, yeah. Yeah, and maybe this will go, maybe this play will go out later in the year, which would be nice. And been for a couple of things, so we'll see if that happens. And uh, who knows? That's the, that's the great thing about, I think it's sort of, daunting but exciting because you just don't know where your next job's going to be. <laughs> 
the life of an actress. Exactly. Uh, Vicky, it's been a real pleasure to meet you today. I, I, I've loved all the roles that you've been in, and Thank I'm actually going to go back now and spot Dick Emery, Les Dawson. I'm going to be looking specifically. <laughs> I've got very short shorts on in Dick Emery. <laughs> hey, I'm definitely going to go back and check it now. You know, it's been a real pleasure to meet ah, you today, and I wish lovely. you the best with this uh, new production. Thank you. It's lovely to meet you, thank and you. Um, thank you for a lovely interview. Thanks, Kim. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.